scratch awesome friends to get started we're gonna go to scratch.mit.edu just to let you know um and just fyi you're here with mr jengus As people are coming in, I am making a quick, quick music app. I think I want something like this. Um, because of the writing right there, I can't really do much with any remote writing. Okay. So I have just the sound playing. I have just the sound playing in here. But what I want is to play around with this block right here. This is just, I'm just messing around as people are coming in, guys. Uh, while you're waiting for me to get started, you can click on like, you can mess around as well. And, um, and or you can let me know how you're doing in the chat. Roslyn says, I saw you in class. Roslyn, I saw you in class too. Wow. Okay. Alright, here's one thing. Set size to loudness. Let me click on it. background to this there's a background for like a concert background there was one party oh there we go spotlight hmm. let's play around with this like i don't know 50 plus loudness Minus 100. Wow, it's going crazy. 100, 100, oh, minus 500. That didn't do it either. Hi, Raven! Raven is also here. Alright, guys, uh, I'm gonna do one more thing in here. Right now, what I'm doing is uh, I'm making this cat kind of like move with the volume of the music. So you're hearing the music right now. But you're also hearing my voice. And I can control the cat with my voice. That's so cool. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, uh, I also want to do one more thing with this. It's kind of cool. Uh, change set color effect to uh, the same thing. The Hi, Bliani. I'm just messing around here with this code. I wanted to use the loudness block from from sensing. And loudness is just my microphone right now. Also, it's the music that's playing in my speakers. If I lower the music and just speak, the cat moves with my voice. Pretty cool, right? Okay, friends, I'm about to get started. If you were messing around, um, you can stop messing around and create a project from scratch. Guys, what, right now what we're gonna do is add images of, um, add images from the internet. So today, we'll upload, upload is a word, images, from the internet into Scratch. Bliani is like, what's your username? Bliani, we're in front of everyone right now. Bliani, I can't tell your username in the chat or else somebody might use it. So Bliani, it's really up to you. If you don't remember your username, you can just uh, create and then sign in later. But right now, I really can't tell your username. All right. Today, we'll upload images from the internet into Scratch. So to do this, we're going to actually need to, um, let me click on stop here. We're going to actually need to go to Google. Yes. This is where we'll need to be. Oh man, I can't move this thing. All right. 
So the website that I'm on right now is, uh, what is it? Images.google.com. And Nelly says hi. And Roslyn says, I saw you in class. Yes. Roslyn, I also saw you in class, I think. All right. So what you need to do as well with me, go to images.google.com and search for a, a, a picture, a photo. So in my search history, you'll see that I have Kushin was one of them. I think that's like a cat. Um, Gumball. <laughs> I thought it was Gumbo, so I wrote Gumbo. We have SpongeBob. Cat Burrito. If you don't know what a cat burrito is, friends, you gotta check this out. You can actually put your cat into a burrito. Oh, and yes, friends, and Nelly says, when is Kahoot? When is the Kahoot gonna be? Yes. And at the end of the class, we'll do a Kahoot! Kahoot! So Nelly, that'll be about the next last 10 or 15 minutes of class. But until then, can we get at least 10 likes before that? Before Kahoot! So... If you guys haven't done it yet, if you like this, these live streams, go ahead and click that like button and we can keep on doing these uh, live streams. Okay, this is a cat burrito, friends. So I click on it. Yes. You put your cat in a burrito. All right, Safia. In a burrito and uh, they actually like it. They like to be covered up tightly like that. Burrito. Uh, you can also go for like... Um, cartoon characters so i'm gonna tell ask you guys in the in the chat which cartoon character should i find in the internet so i'm gonna search images.google.com can i put a line under here oh wow skinnier line Wilson came with uh, Spongebob, yes. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea. Eh. Yeah. yeah. Ralston says, Spongebob, anyone else? What do you think? What character should I look for? So let me see, Spongebob. Oh, Biliani, I'm not sure what that is. Hi, Tristan. Tristan, who is this? Bam. Psh. All right. Okay. So I found an image of SpongeBob. The fact that there are tiny little, little checkers right here. That means that the background is transparent. And this is really important today, guys. When we look for an image, if we find those checkers behind the character, that means the background, we can put anything in there. So instead of the checkers, I can put a classical um, background from uh, Scratch itself. And Raven says bunny. Leon is like, I hate Bob. No. How can you hate Bob? Um, all right, so let's get into it guys Find a picture that you like and then a right click on it. Yes, this is the part where it's kind of getting kind of confusing a Right click you can do that on a Windows computer. If you have a Windows computer, you can just right click If you are on a Chromebook though, you can use the peace sign the two finger click So you make a peace sign with two fingers and then click to get this menu and when you're here, guys, you're gonna save image as. You're gonna click on save image as. Are we gonna click on save link as? No. Are we gonna click on, well, copy image address? No, we're gonna save image as. So make sure that you're saving it and make sure that you're saving an image, not a link. And then click on save image as. Oh, yeah, one thing, guys, 
if you are on an Apple, you might need to press Control on your keyboard and then click. And you'll get the this menu right here. When you are here, again, you're going to click on Save Image As. Oh, yeah. All right. And Tristan says, I'm on a phone and I can't do this. This is a great point. Some people are on iPads too. If you're on an iPad or a phone, long click. So you're going to click and don't let go until you see this menu. Try it out, Tristan, on your phone. Just find an image first, yeah, and then click on it for a long time, tap on it for a long time, don't let go until you see a menu like this uh, that says Save Image As. Awesome. And then after you click on Save Image As, you get this kind of a dialog maybe, and you can click on Save. But this is a WebWP file. Well, you can try. Yeah, let me click on this image to open it up in, yeah, here we go, in Wikipedia. There we go, save image as, now it's an SVG, cool. All right, guys, back to scratch. Back to scratch, I got my image, I found any image in there, right clicked on it, or control click if you're on, if you're on Apple, or the peace sign click, the two fingers, you click on it, mm. And then you're going to save image as. So we're downloading the image. We're taking the image from the internet and bringing it to our computer. Next up, we're going to take this image and upload it into Scratch. So we can do cool stuff with it. Right? Okay. Let me clear my screen here. Mm -hmm. All right, I might need to zoom, 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 zoom for this one. Let's go back to scratch. After you download your photo, let's go back to scratch. All right, we're gonna click on, so hover over the new sprite button. Don't click on it, but then click on the upload sprite button. Again, if you're on an iPad, you might need to do that long click. Uh, you press on it for some time, and then when the menu pops up, click on upload sprite. Yeah. So click on Upload Sprite. Okay, once you do that, guys, you get a menu like this. In here, yes, you're going to have to find that file you just downloaded. Uh, this can be inside Downloads. It usually is inside Downloads. But uh, my computer shows me the last file that was ever downloaded into my um, computer right here the spongebob squarepants character svg let's open it up there he is spongebob and i got spongebob in here bam so i can get rid of the cat now and put this spongebob in here boom Then let me make this actually smaller, huh? Bam. Let's see, what else did we have? What other suggestions did we have? Raven said bunny. That's happening. All right. Let's find a bunny in here. Wait, is bunny a character from SpongeBob? No. Hmm. Um, okay, uh, and friends, this time... When I'm searching for an image, this time, look very closely, everyone. This time, I'm going to search bunny, transparent, background. Or you can just say transparent. Bunny, transparent. And that's going to give me one of those images that doesn't have a background, those checkered backgrounds. So I see a few of them here. There's one right here that has a checkered background. There's a few right here. Oh, this one is so cute. So let's try some of these. These images, they might be hard to find and hard to download because Google is trying to protect people's copyright. But what we can do is still try and see if it's free. Uh, so this one is, oh, well, let me click on this one. This one is from cleanpng.com. Now, when I right click on it and save image as, it might not work that well, but let's try. I'm gonna 
click on upload sprite again in scratch and find my bunny and then open it yeah just as i thought the background is still there that checkered background is still there that's because google wants you to actually click on the image and find out where it's coming from and then download it so i'm gonna do that friends i found the image i downloaded it and then i uploaded it to scratch but this happened this monstrosity um this background checkered background is covering up the whole thing and i want to put the bunny maybe like next to spongebob squarepants right here but that background that checkered background is making it look not realistic right mm. okay let's try this out let's go back to that photo i searched for a bunny transparent so i get that transparent background yeah apparently there is a bunny in spongebob oh angel hi angel i just saw your hi Oh, yes, Gary is coming up. But first, let me get this bunny in there. All right, so instead of right-clicking, because of that background problem, I'm going to actually click on the rabbit. Let me click on the rabbit. All right. Now it's taking me to that website where, oh, wow, I need to allow cookies. Um, so a lot of websites collect your data and get ads for you. Uh, I kind of have to... Uh, I'm going to allow cookies. Yeah. All right. And in here, I see a free download button. Nice. Sometimes these photos, uh, companies charge for them like 20 cents. It's good that they actually are giving this to us for free. But they're also putting a lot of ads into their website. So I downloaded the image by going to the website, by actually clicking on the image and then finding that free download button. But not all images are for free. Some of them, people ask for money. Okay, let me upload that. Never trust cookies, says Tristan. Yeah, well, oof, it's complicated. Like, I don't wanna trust cookies. I wanna trust cookies, but uh, I, I can't sometimes. They're, they're too delicious. All right, guys, this is just a comparison between the two images. One of them, I actually clicked on the image, found it where it comes from, did some searching, and then downloading it, downloaded it. And the other one, I just right-clicked and downloaded it. That sometimes does not work for the transparent background. So I'm going to delete that one. Here's a bunny. Bam. Next up. Who else? I have SpongeBob. And I have a bunny. Next up is gonna be Gary. There's a Gary in here? Oh yes, the snail. Gary the snail. Oh wow. I just typed in Gary, friends. I just said Gary. And the second choice there was Gary SpongeBob Transparent. So, like, perfect. Click on that. All right. Ooh. Is this transparent background? It doesn't look like it. I like this image of Gary laughing or smiling at least. And Gary eats out of a bowl, like a pet. All right, okay, all right. Um, so this is a checkered background. Uh, I could try to right click on it, save image as, but it looks like it's gonna be kind of weird because Top PNG sounds like a company that sells these images. Hopefully they'll let us have the image for free. But let me try it by doing the old method. I upload Sprite. Oh, first I downloaded it by right clicking on it this time. And now I'm uploading it on Scratch. Yeah. Oh man, that's no bueno. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that. Let's actually click on the link. I'm gonna click on the link. I mean, I'm gonna click on the photo. <laughs> I 
Oh wow, already I'm getting so many ads. Uh, it looks like Top PNG might want me to buy something or they might allow me to download this for free. Did I miss it? Oh. And also, oof, there are so many download buttons here, right? And this is how they get you guys. This is how ads get you. This download button is for doc to PDF. We don't want that. This download button is for grammar checker called Grammarly. But then, <laughs> out of nowhere, there is a large free file down here with a download sign next to it. And it looks like that's the one. Uh, okay, open. Oh no. Oh no, the ads got me. No, they didn't. Oh yeah. I gotta prove that I'm not a robot now. They're making me jump through all these hoops. All right, it's downloading now. So friends, it's gonna take some time to navigate through those ads, not click on them, uh, and find the actual link. And hi, Jacob. All right, let me do this. I'm gonna upload Sprite and uh, get Gary over here and boom. <laughs> Jacob's like, that's Gary. Yeah, I got Gary in here. All right, okay guys. So these are all suggestions. You guys suggest that these Gary, SpongeBob, uh, Rostlin suggested SpongeBob, uh, Raven suggested um, the bunny, Tristan suggested the the Gary. Um, what else? Else should I add to my project? I want to spend the kind of uh, the first half hour, guys, for, for another ten minutes. I want to add a bunch of images from the internet, so I'm open to all kinds of suggestions. Oh, yeah, where is Patrick here? Okay, okay, uh, let me search for Patrick Spongebob Transparent. And there he is, happy as ever. All right, I'm going to try it again, guys. I found Patrick. I right-click on it. If you're on a Chromebook, you can do a two-finger click with a P sign. On your trackpad, you can do it with two fingers. Click. And when you see this menu, click on save image as. Are we gonna say are we gonna save link as? No. We're gonna save image as. And then I save it. And then I go to back to scratch and click on upload sprite. So last uh, live stream we clicked on this paintbrush, uh, friends. So you can check that out too if you want to draw your own sprites. But I'm gonna click on Upload Sprite and find Patrick in there. Oh yeah, that did not work. So that transparent background is not gone in Scratch. So it looks like we need to find where this image came from. Where did this photo come from? Go there and then download from there. So let me go back to Google Images. This time, I'm actually going to click on the photo of Patrick. Oof. Okay, we're getting into um, a territory where there's a lot of ads. This website looks like has a lot of ads. And, wow, all kinds of photos of um, Patrick here. I like this one. And there are so many download buttons. I don't know which one to click on. These are all um ads that are that, and they're trying to get you to click on them like this download is for a cloud threat report that gives you insights on vulnerabilities don't click on that download uh this download button is for a template finder uh, i don't know but here it is download original png png is a, a type of photo so i'm going to click on that hopefully no more ads Oh yeah, a lot more ads. Okay, it's telling me your download will start sh shortly. Please wait. And it also tells me upgrade for pre premium features. Oh, Warby Parker. They must think I'm in 
and uh, the store in the market for glasses. Mm, and uh, yeah, here we go. And it downloaded. Okay, let me get rid of this, Patrick, and upload the new Patrick that I found by going through that where uh, that ads website thing. Boom. Oh wow, we're at nine likes, you guys. We're at nine likes. Once we get to 10, that's the goal for today. Uh, we'll pl play around a little bit more with this. And then remember, in the last 10 or 15 minutes, we'll have a Kahoo. Okay. Boom. Here's Patrick. So Patrick is in front of everyone, which is so Patrick. Uh, but... I want to send him back. So with these images, one thing that we can do is uh, send them back or forward. Inside looks, there's a block called go to front layer. Yeah. So when I click on a green flag, Patrick will go to the front layer. So right now, Patrick is in the front of everyone. What if I say back? Click on the green flag. Now, Patrick is behind everyone <laughs> as a layer. So you can play around with this as well. If you want it to be in between two layers, you can do go forward one layer. Go forward one layer. I'll click on the green flag. Go forward another layer on top of the bunny. Right now, Patrick is behind Gary. I click on the green flag again. Now, Patrick is in front of everyone else again, which is so Patrick. Okay. I'm going to change the size of Patrick, 20, and put him next to SpongeBob, uh, maybe 30. And let me send him backward a few layers. Yeah, all the way back. Okay. It looks like Sponge Patrick ate. Oh, yeah. Hi, Brenda. All right, friends, keep them coming. Do you have any suggestions? We have the whole, and almost the whole cast of, um, <laughs> of um, of SpongeBob SquarePants. Next up, let's do this. Squidward. How do you even spell Squidward? Squidward or what was the other one? The Squirrel Lady. Oh, I forgot. Yes, Mr. Crab. From Krusty Crab. Mr. Crab. Spongebob, transparent. Oh yeah, the squirrel lady was Sandy. <laughs> yes, that's right. There is Mr. Krabs. Krabs, I see. And Mr. Krabs is not really a pleasant person, right? He's all about that money. And uh, if he doesn't get his money, then he gets really, really angry. So I like this photo of him where he's angry. I'm going into the ads territory again, guys, because this is from highcliparts.com. I don't think it's going to work if I do the right click uh, technique. So I'm actually going to click on this image. Scroll down. Let's see if we find a link. Yes, download original PNG. Look at here, there's not a start download. There's like a register free button. But we're looking for this one. Download original PNG with no ads around it. And then it's gonna ask me a bunch of other questions, right? Okay, then it's gonna make me wait while it shows me an ad uh, for custom t-shirts, $25 off. Whoa. While that's downloading guys, I'm gonna go back here and I think, oh, it downloaded already. I think I'm ready for animating these guys. 
So I'm gonna go to SpongeBob. I want SpongeBob to be right there. Yeah. So when green flag is clicked, I'm gonna use that go to block. So no matter if I move my uh, SpongeBob here, if my SpongeBob ends up going there, I can click on a green flag and it'll reset. It'll go back to where it came from. And friends, these numbers might be different to uh, to you because these numbers mean the position of SpongeBob. So let me move SpongeBob here. These numbers will be different now. If I get that go to again, I have different numbers. These are updated numbers. Let me move SpongeBob here. And you'll notice that these numbers changed again. Now it's go to 152 and minus 47. These numbers change. These numbers change according to what where your character is so be sure to move your character first move your character first and then add a go to and let's do this for all the sprites okay for the bunny move it to where you want it to start and then add a green flag clicked and then go to And then I'm going to do the same thing for Gary. This is Gary. When green flag is clicked, go to. And then the same thing for Patrick. Make sure you move Patrick to the beginning position, to the starting position. And then say, when green flag is clicked, go to. So no matter where I put these guys, even if they go end up going here or there, I can click on a green flag and they'll come back to the beginning. So this is a really useful code, guys. It looks simple, but check this out. When I move them all around, like they're all over the screen, but I click on my green flag, bam. Isn't that kind of cool? I move them around. I click on that green flag and bam. Yeah, Tristan, if you want to check out some other videos, friends, you can always go to this channel, Code Speak Labs, and check out other videos that I've done and my friends have done. Haley and, uh, and Asia have done amazing videos out there if you want to check them out. And friends, this is how you really improve in coding. It's really your own uh, attempt to learn. Because coding languages change like every year. So every year you have to learn something new. And to be able to tinker with things and learn from them or go to YouTube, watch videos about how other people do it, those kind of things can really help you become a better coder in any, any language, right? Okay. Uh, all right. Um, one last character, guys. Sandy or Squidward. Sandy or Squidward. Jacob's like, Sandy, hold on. Oh, let me get my water guys. Mm I see, Sandy still. Ralston says Pearl. Who's Pearl? Was it Pearl a character in SpongeBob? Let me see. Oops. Oh, Pearl! That's right. There's also Pearl. She is a whale, right? Oh, Ross, we already got Mr. Krabs in there, right? Oh, no, we didn't. Thanks for the reminder. Let me upload it. I think I downloaded Mr. Krabs, but I didn't upload it. Okay. There he is. Okay, he's huge. Um... 
Let's make them small. 20. Uh, maybe more like 50. And he can be back here. You know, about to... About to, like, maybe attack them or something. No. Hmm. And I'm going to go to looks. And I'm going to use that go to front layer or go forward one layer blocks. And here is something cool, you guys. Yeah, this one is a cool one. Instead of putting the blocks into your coding area, you can just click on them to run them. So... I'm going to move Mr. Crab backward one layer by just clicking on this block right here. It says go backward one layer. I'll click on it. Bam. And he goes to the back layer. If he goes to the front layer again, just click on a backward one layers. Bam. And he goes to the back layer. He is behind Gary about to attack uh, Patrick and SpongeBob, I think. Because they're not working and slacking off. Cool. All right, guys, I think I'm going to do a bunch of them. Let's get all the cast of uh, SpongeBob. I'll download this one. Ooh. Download PNG, yep. Download PNG. Awesome. And also Sandy. There she is. This is going to be a busy, busy uh, project. Nope, no ads. And then here's the download button. I click on that. And then a Squidward. I'm, I'm getting them all, you guys. I'm getting Squidward in here, too. Oh, here is Squidward doing the dab. I think I like that one. And download that as well. Alright, so guys, I downloaded a bunch, a bunch of these images. Now I'm going to upload them into Scratch. I got this one. Nice. This is Pearl. Let's get that next one. And this is Squidward. I'm going to put him to the front and make him a little bit bigger. If you make the image a little bit bigger, it kind of looks like they're up front. Right. And where's my Sandy? Where's my little Sandy? Oh, I got to prove that I'm not a robot. Yeah. And friends, in about a few minutes, once I get all these characters in and, you know, program them a little bit, in a few minutes, we'll have our Kahoot. Let me upload Sandy. Sandy. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's huge. Uh, too small. All right. Okay. Friends, I'm going to add that same code to these images too. So, Mr. Crab, when green flag is clicked, go to Pearl. Let's get Pearl. When green flag is clicked, go to XY. Same thing for Squidward. When green flag is clicked, go to XY. Yeah, for Sandy as well, when green flag is clicked, go to XY. So before you add this code, make sure you have all of your characters in the starting position and then use the go to block. Okay, this next one, I'm going to make it go crazy. Are you guys ready for this? Yes. Bam. I'm going to make it go crazy. Are you guys ready for this? Um, I'm going to I'm going to at least try, right? I got this block. When space key is pressed, uh, you guys remember, what was it called? Disco cat? 
yeah, this is gonna be kind of like Disco Cat, but also, you know, movement involved. And also, I'm gonna add some music in here, because why not, right? In loops. And here there's a thing called Trap Beat. I'll use that. And when space key pressed, play that sound. Trap beat until done. Let's play that a few times. All right, I'm gonna take this code and put it into the bunny. Guys, do you wanna find out how to do um, copy and paste your code? This is how you do it. You grab a piece of code from one sprite and then you put it on the Gary. And then take it again, put it on it, Patrick. Mr. Grabs, and then what was she again? Oh, um, Pearl, Squidward, and Sandy. Yeah, if I click on them, you'll see that they have the same code in here now. All of them have this code in here now, which is what we want. They're going to all go crazy when I press that space key. Let me see. Nice. Nice, nice. All right, friends. Let me try this out. When I press the space key, let's see what happens. And they all kind of go all over the place. Yeah. I wish it was a bit more random. But I, I carefully, carefully uh, put them... Uh, place them on the screen. How can I put them back now? I just need to click on a green flag. And they're kind of back. <laughs> Some of them are upside down now. Oh no. I'm going to add one more block here, guys, to all of these guys. Uh, what was it? Set rotation style left, right. Yeah. Set rotation style left, right. 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 Okay, uh, let me fix the upside down ones, guys. So, th what this is gonna do is it's gonna make them all not turn upside down, which is which is what we would want. So let me make them all ninety in here. Mister Grabs. Mm, that's good enough. Oh, we got Gary right here. And let's try that one more time. Yeah, they look like they're getting possessed uh, almost. Yeah. And at the same time, Squidward is doing the dab. Bam. All right. Click on a green flag. Bam. They're all here. Everyone's here. Click on a space. They all kind of move the same way. But you can make some of them go really, really fast. Like SpongeBob can be slow. The bunny can be a little bit faster. Gary can be like crazy fast. Let's make Gary 50. Patrick. I want to see Patrick around. So two. Mr. Crab, who's chasing them. A one. Uh, this one I'm going to... Pearl can be maybe like 20 speed. And uh, 10. I'll leave this at 10. Sandy. Let's try 100 for Sandy. Sandy is super fast. Let's see how, how that looks. Again, I click on the green flag. Yeah, I'll go back to the starting positions. Really cool. And then I press the space. Okay, 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 okay. No. <laughs> All right, okay, hold on. All right. It can be even more crazy. I want to make this even more crazy. Um, All right, so I'm going to click on the stage right here. So you can do this with me too, guys. I click on the stage. We can program the stage. This time, when space key is pressed, forever... Uh, change a uh, whirl effect. 
in here. Can you guys see that? When space key is pressed, forever change world effect. So I click on that little drop down menu instead of color. That's how the block comes. It says change color. But I click on that little triangle and choose world. And I'm going to world it by, ooh, by five. Okay. Let's make it big. Test number three. Okay, I click on a green flag. Starting positions. All right. And I click and I press the space key. Bam. The background starts whirling. Crazy. Look at Squidward. He's just dabbing around. This way, that way. I don't know what the bunny is doing. Sandy is so fast. Sandy is too fast. Hunter was a bit too much. And friends, whenever you press the space key, the same thing will happen again. Bam. <laughs> Okay, back to the starting positions. Click on a green flag, starting positions. So you can use this if you want to drop the beat at any moment. Uh, you know, you might be like, I'd like to drop the beat right now. Bam! Um, you can click on a green flag and you can do it again and again. When people least, least expect it, like right now. Bam! Green flag, back to the starting positions. All right, friends, that's it. That's all I got. Um, let me sign in quickly, quickly. Uh, friends, so if you are signed in, you'll see your username at the top right, right here. Click on share. Uh, I'm gonna call this one live stream upload sprites. Uh, what's the date today? Huh? 1 12 to 1 21. Press space key. And friends, is it shared? Yeah, it's shared. I'll put this link into the chat. Uh, sorry, I'll put this link uh, into the description of this video after we're done. And you can find this uh, project in the description of this video after we're done. And once you do that, friends, you can see the code inside. And you can debug your own code that way. That's the best way to learn coding. By looking at somebody else's code. And seeing what's the, what the difference is between your code and their code. Alright, are we ready for a Kahoot? Kahoot sees. Kahoot! All right, so, okay. In Kahoot, when we're doing it live stream, there's a bit of a lag. So there's a lot of time. I put, I made a lot of time for you guys to be able to answer, but there will be some lag when, between uh, the, the, the time you see the photo and the time you can answer. All right, here it is. Nice. All right, everyone, you can go to kahoot.it. I'm putting the link into the chat. And enter the pin when you're there. Three, five, six, two, six, four, six. Here's another thing, actually. Oh, oh let me move this guy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm moving right here. Is that cool? Here's another thing, you guys. Um, once you go into Kahoot, wait. Okay. Alex G is here. And here's another thing, friends. Just remember there will be a lag between the time you see the question and the time you can answer it. But I've made a long, each question has a lot of time allowed in it. Alex G is here. Raven, Carlos, Chanel, and Lol Biliani is here.
and this Kahoot will be about the internet. Yeah, really. Or in technology in general. There's also some technology questions in there. And some of you might have already done this Kahoot. So you should do better, right? Let's see if you remember from last time. If you have already done this Kahoot. Hi Alex G. Mom is also here, Jacob is here. And yeah friends, if you have uh, brothers or sisters or little ones in the house, or big ones, older brothers or sisters, you can invite them into the game too. Your parents are also invited, but I can't promise that they will do well. Nice. Miss 2021 Roslyn is here. Alright friends, we're about to get started in about 10 seconds. Let's do it in 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, yeah, Tristan, your parents as well. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No colors. I'm going to click on start. So remember, friends, you can also join later on in the Kahoot. You don't need to join at the beginning. You can join later on and see how well you do, although you start later. Okay, is everything found in the internet true? Choose all the correct answers. Choose all the correct answers. Is everything found in the internet true? And you gotta pick all of the correct answers and then click on submit, you guys. Choose all of the correct answers. There's a few in there. And then click on submit. All right, awesome. Wow, everybody. Everybody chose some kind of no, at least. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, everything found on the internet is not true. Here is Abraham Lincoln saying, Don't believe everything you read on the internet just because there's a picture with a quote next to it, says Abraham Lincoln. But how did, how did he know about the internet? There was no computer by his time. So that image might not be, that quote might not be real. All right, let's go to the next one. A way of sending a message from one computer to another. How do we send a message? from one computer to another. This is just one way of doing that. Yes, email. Yeah, I got you one. I got one person on this one. Mail um, is different than email. Yeah, mail is sending stuff in the letter. Although we sometimes call email mail because we don't send that many letters anymore. Okay, how many emails are sent every day? How many emails are sent? every day is an incredibly big number good one guys yes 250 billion. I know that <laughs> I know that might not be the largest number in here. It's not 2 trillion. But um, it's still a really big number, guys. Remember. Yeah, I should put this up. There are 8 billion people 
in the world. There, there is about 8 billion people in the world and 250 billion emails are sent every day. That's a crazy, crazy big number. Angel, you're on fire. Raven just jumped up to first place. And Carlos is at third. Chanel and Bliani follow them. What percent of all these emails is considered spam? Or junk email? What percent of all the emails out there, people don't want them? Yeah, Bliani. If you did this one in class, you should remember then, huh? What percent of all emails people don't want? Is it 20%? Is it 50%? Is it 70%? Are all, are all emails spam? You could say that. You could argue that. Alright, Tristan. I'll see you next class. Or next live stream. You don't remember? Yeah. 50%. So all these emails that are being sent out there, nobody really wants them. Um, half of them, nobody really wants. Good night, Tristan. All right, who was the first computer programmer in all of history? There she is. Who is she? The first computer programmer of all time. Yay. And friends, uh, for live streams, you can go to the end of the video. You might not be at the end of the live stream. You might not be live. So make sure that you're going to the end of the video right now if you want to be closer to my time. Ada Lovelace. That's right. This is Ada Lovelace, guys. She programmed before computers were invented. So she started writing these instructions for computers to calculate things uh, in case in the future people invent the computer. She was that forward looking like that. Okay, Firefox, Chrome, and Safari are examples of what? Here they are, there's Chrome. Here's Explorer. Does Explorer even exist? I think it does. Here's Mozilla, and here is Safari. Are they computers? Are these things websites? Are they web browsers or are they games? Everyone got this right. Angel, you remember this? Everyone got this right. Yes, these are all web browsers. Next question. Oof. What is downloading? Yes, we did this today. What is downloading? Is it sending a file on the internet? Is it receiving a file on the internet? Is it moving a file on the internet? Or is it deleting a file on the internet? Remember, we downloaded the photo from Google Images today. We downloaded images from Google.
and skip. Yes, downloading is receiving a file on the internet. All right, friends, last question because we are out of time. What is uploading? What is uploading? Is it sending a file on the internet? Is it receiving a file on the internet? Is it moving a file on the internet? Or is it deleting a file on the internet? We uploaded the images that we downloaded. We uploaded them into Scratch today. So what is uploading? We did it today, but what does it mean? All right, guys, I'm gonna skip this as well. Yes, uploading is sending a file on the internet. So we sent the photo that we had in our computer to Scratch. We uploaded it to Scratch so that we can code it like we did today. All right, guys, I'm gonna end it here because we're out of time. Let's see the podium. Third place goes to Carlos. Congratulations, Carlos. Second place goes to Angel. Congratulations, Angel. And first place goes to Raven. Congratulations, Raven. Oh, Angel, we gotta go. Uh, fourth place is Mom. Fifth place is Chanel. Uh, that was a difficult code, guys. I really tried to stump you guys on that one. Some of you remembered it before, some of you didn't. Yeah, yeah. And friends, next time we'll do a different Kahoot. Okay, everyone, that is the end for live stream today. Bye bye, everyone. And remember to check out our channel, check out the videos in there. We're from codespeaklabs.com, and in there you can register for after school lessons. We offer online lessons six days a week at codespeaks.com. Codespeaklabs.com slash register.